Hey guys, this is Spark the Fuse, and I'm back with another uh, uh, Egg IV Abuse video for, with the uh, Action Replay. Uh, this is part two of Egg IV Abusing. Um, so, here we. Uh, hopefully you've done uh, all of my previous videos. Sorry if the tutorials weren't that good. Uh, I have a hard time explaining this and doing it every time, sometimes. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, now that we have done all of the previous steps and have our egg in the daycare, what we're going to do now is we're going to exit the game, uh, open it up with our action replay again, it doesn't matter what time because we're just calculating our save frame, and you have to mash A and you gotta pick up an egg before anyone in any of the roaming NPCs in the town move, that includes this little Pachirisu and these cowgirls. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to close the game, pop out my uh, platinum, put my action replay in, and again you need your uh, DS synced up to an external uh, time, something that can tell time outside the DS. Oh, it didn't read my action replay. Give me a second. We all know the magic of blowing into the cartridge. Okay, so you just have to um, put game in. As I've stated before, I'm going to state it again to make sure I can't, st I can't stress this enough. Uh, always select your codes because that saves you a lot of headaches of not having to deal with a different delay every time you enter the game. Um, yeah, so... Here we go. Mash A as quick as you can, and try and uh, click A before anyone of the NPCs moves. So 9:39. There we go. I went in at 9:39 or 6:39, I should say. Remember the time you went in? Uh, I saw one of the cowgirls did move, but that's okay for the purpose of demonstration. I'm going to show you what you would do if no one moved. Um, so you go up here and you search around for wild Pokemon, and uh, as long as it's not a roaming NPC, you can catch it. For me, it's yet another ponytail. Uh, so I'm just going to catch this myself. Uh, while I'm catching it, again, we open up our RNG reporter. Uh, you go to the seed finder, put in uh, the date and time. Mm -mm. Uh, I went in at the 36, I believe. Again, even if you're like a minute off, it's not a big deal. Or I probably went in at the 39. Um, then you check the IVs of your Pokemon, I just caught the Ponytail again. Or a uh, different Ponytail this time, rather. And, uh, don't check its IVs yet. What you want to do is, hopefully, if you have has Fast Hatch on like I do, uh, you want to run down and you want the Chansey or, or the Egg of your Pokemon to hatch. Um, and this is because what we're going to be doing is we're going to check what frame this Egg was created on. Uh, so now you can check the IVs of both the Ponyta and the Chansey. This one's docile. It's docile with those IVs. I'm going to input that into the uh, reader now. Oh. Uh, okay, I input something wrong. There we go. Okay. Sorry. That was uh, my mistake. So, yes. Um, I just put the IVs in wrong. So you can see this is your initial seed. You click OK. Now you go over here and you want to select uh, under method you want to pick breeding for diamond pearl platinum and just click generate uh, that's what oh right sorry uh, if you are continuing from step two be sure to set this the nature to any and the ability to any and then click generate again that's a mistake I commonly make too as you can see I just made it right now and you are gonna get a big list of frames what these are are all of the possible egg uh, hatch possibilities from the safe frame we're on from the seed created. So go here and check the IVs of your hatch Pokemon. In this case, mine's 3, 3, 31, 31, 27, 21. And you try and match it up to anything on the list. I can see right now that mine is actually uh, safe frame 12, but the cowgirl moved. So hypothetically, if she did not move and I did everything correctly, I would be saved on safe frame 12. And this would be my spread that I would use. So, uh, I also recommend doing this at least three more times. If you can get it twice in a row on the save, save frame, you're heading down the right road. That's probably um, your save frame. And I'm going to show you what you need this for uh, right now. So, let's say I I know my save frame happens to be save frame 12. Just for uh, purposes of... Uh, whatever you click the diamond pearl platinum time finder 
You input any year you want. I'm just going to use this year for now. Uh, you input that second that we calibrated uh, during during um, our calibration phrase. You input the save frame you're in. Hypothetically, I'm on frame 12. And you input your delay that we found in calibration. I know mine, for a fact, is 600. Now, uh, let's say we want our chance to be perfect in everything but attack. We make these equal to 31. You can make these equal to whatever you want your Pokemon to have. 31's in, and you click Generate. This gives you a frame where uh, of everything that's possible um, with the Garant abilities. This would actually be a freaking sweet Chansey. It would be perfect in everything because my parent A has flawless uh, stats. Oh, yes, I should mention that that's what these uh, uh, letters mean. Uh, the parent, A and B, depending on how you put them in the daycare. And uh, now, let me show you uh, how to hit the time. I'm going to do my best to explain this because this is the hardest uh, concept to understand. What you want to do now is shut your game off uh, and go back to the menu with no game cartridges in and set your time and date to the time and date given uh, on this. Uh, in my case, it's 2010 on the 28th. So you confirm that here. I just changed the date to the 28th. And you go to the time and you put it in the time and you put it in one minute before this target time, and I will explain why again. So you put it in one minute before this, so in my case it's 1708 is what I want to put in. And again, this is exactly like the calibration phase, exactly like it. So you go open up Mloop with our uh, 60 seconds in, and you do exactly what I did before. You click A on the game and uh, the timer at exactly the same time, just like that. And what you want to do is you want to exit this menu as fast as you can one more time. And you want to stick in the action replay as quick as you can. And you want to load up the code list again as fast as you possibly can. Again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to click uh, this pink start button at the exact time that this timer reaches zero, which puts us in at uh, 17. Uh, 1709, which is the time that we wanted to hit here. This 15 seconds is that time that we calibrated beforehand. We knew that if we got in at an even minute and our delay was 600, and it took us 15 seconds to get into the game, this is what we would have to do. Uh, if that makes sense. Just keep watching this video and I'm hopefully you will understand. So here we go. I have to click start exactly when the timer hits zero. Uh, so that time I was really good. Now basically what you have to do is you gotta mash A like crazy. Um, I'm gonna try and show you. So mash A as quickly as possible, just like you did during the calibration phrase. Now, you are going to get this. Um, just, uh, okay, so this right here, every time that you see that a Pokemon was caught or, uh, or, uh, defeated or anything, that advances your frame up by two. So in our case, this was bad because we were trying to hit safe frame 12. But uh, let's assume we were trying to hit safe frame 14. Then what we would have to do is we wouldn't have to do anything because we'd already be advanced to safe frame 14. So it's your initial safe frame plus two for every time you flip to one of these. So if I do this and I flip to uh, here where it says caught a female Staravia, that would also advance me another two to 16. Now, uh, the quickest way to get out of this is just to click start. That's going to get you right in the game. As soon as you click start, mash A so none of the NPCs, roaming NPCs, can move and pick up your egg as quickly as possible. Uh, doesn't look like anyone moved, so hopefully I did this right. Um, now what you do is you just run around, try and hatch your egg. Uh, and while that's hatching, what you can do is you can go back to here, you can right click this and you can generate adjacent results uh, just click OK to this it, it, you can change it uh, however you want it doesn't really make a difference though and basically these are ev these are all of the sister spreads if you will of you but uh, that's all basically you have to do you repeat these steps until you get the desired uh, egg and that is it for abusing with an action replay sorry if my guides aren't as uh, profound as you might have hoped but uh, hopefully they can help you get the job done so thanks and uh, happy breeding.